welcome back everyone you're watching another episode of the diary of a dog walker powered by Crichton Pet Services and I'm Stephen Crichton thank you for joining us again if you're coming back if you're new where have you been there's like 500 videos so far there's gonna be a test at the end no there's not there's not there's not I want you to walk with us if you are new and uh, not every day is glorious sunshine today it's a bit windy a bit wet and it's very cold really really cold however you guys are watching from the comfort of your home and you guys get the benefit of seeing these guys without the hassle of having to look after them i'm just going to show you what happens on our walk today it is tuesday morning and the morning walk is only for the little dogs so we encourage you to walk with us as it's so windy i'll leave it there but i'll be back halfway through because we stumble across a really curious event in any case i'll be back right at the very end to recap our day probably from the van and uh, yeah stay tuned for that and we'll see you then Does yelp. He doesn't often yelp. <laughs> Go on, Barney. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I think there's something in there in distress. Let's go and help. Let's go and help. All right, we're out the wind a little bit. Let me just explain. Five of the six dogs. The only one who's not really doing it is Barney. Five of the six of them have tracked something up ahead here. There, did you hear that? Something barking. Well, a dog, obviously, but. And just to put this in a context, that's the road. And we're in the bushes, so there's definitely something oh. up here. Hiya. Hi buddy, look at you. You are glorious. Is that how we find? Alfie, we'll go back this way. We'll get out of everyone's way. We'll get out of the way. <laughs> Good you guys. That's fascinating. The body language of the dogs definitely changed and uh, to the point where I thought they were going to find something like a, a deer or a rabbit that was maybe bleeding or something like that. But it turns out it's uh, another set of dogs and one of them I think was in a little bit of distress and they found the dog and then I've spoken to the dog walker. She's got a few other dogs with them and they were trying to find so that is fascinating. That's pretty fascinating in my opinion. But but these guys, the terriers, would not let it go. They would not let it go. And uh, it's interesting. That's certainly not a coincidence. I wonder if maybe one of the dogs or a dog that we found maybe is in season. That could uh, be an explanation for it. Uh, an interesting one. Go on, Ruby. Oh, she's off. Well, we find her. Let's get across all this bouncy stuff. 
<laughs> she's off. She's off. See if Ruby comes. Ruby! No. Are we just about done? Look at you two jumping up, even although you're on a lead. Yes. Oh, Barney, you're so sweet. You're such a beautiful dog. Such good nature. What's happening to you two? The borders? Are you going up? What is this? Barney, 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 Juno, what is this? You want one, Alfie? Nah. <laughs> Right, well that's us wrapped up, out of the wind and uh, yeah, on our way back home, we're just about to leave to go back home. It's been quite an interesting day, I mean weather wise it's really strange, it's now blue skies and sunny as you can see through the window but um, but we got really pelted in a, in a storm there uh, towards the end of the walk, it was not pleasant at all. But the strangest thing about today by far was the uh, the dog in the gorse bushes and I don't know what was going on there, there's there's something not right about that kind of behaviour, the, the dog being up there and sort of barking intermittently and, um, and the dogs then sort of tracking it, the terriers tracking it down, finding it and then for someone to tell me everything's alright. Uh, was strange because for that person to be in there there's no there's no access from the road to get in there so it's just all a bit odd but in any case i'm sure it's all fine it's just strange um so yeah it's left me pondering anyway what did you guys think how were the dogs what did you think the best thing for me today from our point of view ruby's interaction with the pack ruby's response to me has been pretty good compared to uh, some of the walks we've been on in recent times so that's that that's that's really cheered me up for today and uh yeah the dogs have all just been great to be honest so it's been a been a nice walk as far as i'm concerned hope you've enjoyed it if you have let us know let us know where you're watching from let us know about your own dogs let us know any questions you might have about stuff you'd like to see me doing or how do i deal with x y or z let me know and uh, importantly, remember and subscribe to the page so you don't miss out. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.